Happy Monday, guys. Today we're stirring off those back squats again. Um, this time we're not gonna work on the sets of eight. This time we're going to sets of six and three sets here. Uh, still the same kind of time interval. We're going every two minutes. Uh, but the first three time intervals, we're gonna do sets of six. And then the last two, we're gonna go back to our fours and twos. So with the sixes, you can start to ramp up and compare it to last week, you're doing three sets. So eventually by the third set, you should have your heaviest six, not your six rep max, but um, your heaviest uh, amount so far. Then again, with the fours and the twos, you can push uh, a little bit more weight if your form is there and you're holding that technique. On the wad today, um, we got uh, a workout for reps. You're doing four rounds of one minute lateral hops, one minute kettlebell swings, one minute jack knives, and then a minute rest. Um, for today, what you want to focus on um, with both the back squats and the workout is uh, about your core tension. So think about um, how you're managing your core tension, how you're taking that deep breath in, uh, and really tightening up and pressurizing your core so that you guys can have that stability, whether it's with the back squats as you're going heavier, or with the workout today, with the lateral hops, kettlebell swings, and even those jackknives, keeping that core nice and uh, tight so you guys can bring your intensity today, whether it be in terms of speed or in terms of load for the back squat today. So think about that core tension. Uh, make sure you're really pressurizing that trunk, uh, whether it's for the workout or for the back squats. You guys want to be focusing on that. That's the main theme of today um, because that's going to help you guys bring that intensity speed or even load uh, for the workout in terms of metrics i want you guys to aim for about 20 to 40 reps with the lateral hops as you continuously be moving um, with the kettlebell swings 20 to 30 and then 20 to 30 jack knives um, when you get to that rest really take your time uh, take those deep breaths in get yourself relaxed before you hit that next round and see if you can stay as consistent as possible across all four rounds it's a it's a tough one in the beginning, guys, so make sure you pace it correctly, but you want to be going at a pretty um, high-intensity pace because that's the goal of today to, bring, to work on intensity. But again, you don't want to burn out in that first round. I would say you're going at about an 80 to 90% effort in those first three rounds. In that last round, you're giving it your all because you know that's the end of the workout. After the wad, guys, we're going to go for a cool-down 60-second handstand hold. Again, just building off last time see if you can hold it for all 60 seconds or maybe change your position uh focus on a different aspect of your handstand whether it's your shoulders your wrists your core um and again play around with progressions whether you're kicking up into the wall walking up the wall or even just doing it from a push-up position just slowly start to challenge yourself compared to last time hope you guys enjoyed today's workout we'll see you guys today